I want to talk about the potential genetic benefits of meat. This is this is huge. This is okay. Did you expect to see this? What we're going to talk about now? No, uh, this is one of the things I didn't know before uh, uh, before I found this research. So everybody's all crazy about you know we have uh, in the United States we have Tello years, we have telomere supplements that uh, TA sixty five improves telomerase. It's supposed to lengthen your telomeres. We know that um, lowering stress, increasing activity has a positive effect on telomeres. People spend hundreds of dollars a month taking supplements to, to promote telomere lengthening or at least keeping them from getting too short. It's a huge, huge uh, new emerging uh, vertical category for businesses. So talk about diet and telomeres, please. Yes, so in this study, they looked at telomere length, and you want the telomeres to be long. The telomeres are uh, a part of your DNA, which tells you that here the, the chromosome starts and here it ends. So when that part disappears, you can't, the cell will, will die. So they were very, very important for that, for that reason. And in this study, they looked at all kinds of foods, like cereal, fruits, uh, vegetables, dairy, red meat, fish, uh, sweets and so on. Poultry. Also the juices and coffees and teas and alcoholic and so on. And they only found one thing that had a positive influence on your telomeres. And that was the consumption of red meat. Not just meat in general, but red meat. Beef. When we talk about red meat, let's be yes. honest, we're talking about beef here, right? Yes. So beef in this study was the only food of all the foods and drinks that they tested that were that were included not tested that were included that had a positive effect on telomere length it either kept them from getting shorter or actually increased their length is that not correct yeah that is correct now in fact you can even say that red meat red, red meat or beef had a greater positive influence on telomeres than smoking had a negative impact That's amazing. I'm yes, speechless. I'm speechless. Because people take hundreds of dollars worth of supplements a month and spend money on testing for their telomere, and, and then they avoid red meat. Oh, no. Red meat's bad for you. It's going to give you cancer. It's going to give you heart disease. We just saw that that's not true. Right? Oh, no, it's no good for you. It's uh, not sustainable. I've written blog posts that show that, that that's not true. In fact... Raising cows is more sustainable than growing soy. But nobody wants to hear that. They, they, oh no, I'm putting my fingers in my ears. I'm not listening, not listening, not listening. Because I'm a vegan. Because I'm more conscientious about preserving the planet. No, you're not. Growing crops is destroying the planet. Because you have to destroy the land. The animals that inhabit it have to go. They have to move. No one talks about that. And then you're going to spray chemicals on that land. It's going to run off everywhere else. It's going to affect everything else in the area. No. Actually, growing crops is not sustainable. Growing crops is destroying the planet. Nobody wants to hear it. So the agenda is to eradicate once and for all consumption of beef when beef is the only food that you could eat for every meal, every day, for the next five years, and actually thrive. And here we see that it improves and protects telomere length over all the other foods that they tested. Folks, we're being lied to every single day. Now, we're never going to change that. We're never, ever going to change these agencies and organizations that lie to us. But we can be better informed and just not listen to their lies. And that's why I'm going to make a specially edited version of today's show, stripping out all the commercials, of just Patrick Dolan's interview. And I'm going to circulate it 
And Patrick, can I include your white paper in this? Yes, let me just, uh, it's not fully edited yet, so I, I want to remove some spelling errors okay. and add a few more studies and so on. Absolutely. So I will send you a new version of it. Absolutely. Yeah. And then when Patrick sends me the final edit of his white paper, we'll put it up on the Supium Radio blog. We need to pass this around, folks. We need to push back on the lies. I don't want to change the opinions of the liars. We're not going to change their opinions because they have an agenda that is that has nothing to do with your health and longevity. And it has nothing to do with the sustainability and protection of our planet. Know that. Know that right now. So we're not going to change their attitudes. They're never going to get off their message. They have another issue for their message. But we can at least be informed and ignore their message. I don't want to change people's minds. I just want the people who are looking for the truth to understand the truth and take their actions accordingly because then we'll live longer and healthier and all the sheeple, well, they're on their own. That's it. So we're going to do that. I'm going to do a specially edited version and we'll make the, the white paper available on our website.